So as a, as a concluding remark about this module, uh, let's look at the solution again. The solution, the microcontroller solution. Um, we're, we're monitoring the monitoring the voltage across the LED, and when the LED is on, we see that the voltage is uh, 1.82 uh, amps, which is pretty close to what we had calculated. Uh, the difference is that we were using a 500 ohm. The calculation was for a 500 ohms. We're using 470 ohms, so that's what explains the difference. Uh, we also notice that uh, the turning of the LED off by pressing the switch will cause the voltage across the LED to be zero. Um, as a last remark, we also notice that if we were to change the the resistance, if I were to use a uh, uh, a higher resistance uh, that would cause the the voltage across the LED to be lower, which means the brightness of the LED is going to be less. One of the advantages of using a microcontroller in our system is the power, flexibility, and control. In other words, in this case, we just have the switch off, light on, switch on, light off. But in other applications, we could make the light flash, we could have motors, we could have two buttons. Uh, the microcontroller allows us the flexibility and to design the operation however we want. Whereas the analog solution would not give you the same flexibility, you'd have to get other components, the interfacing becomes more complicated, and it will only serve one purpose. Whereas the microcontroller by redesigning your software, you can make the same hardware perform multiple functions. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how it does.